I'm having a problem with my metacycle. When I hit the remote, nothing is happening. The remote is going on. I'm trying both remotes and I cannot turn it on. I cannot get the alarm to turn. The problem can also occur if the batteries are weak or dead inside the remote. So always check the batteries first. But when you see the LEDs are on on the remotes, you know that the remote should be working and the power is not going on in the motorcycle. So what we're going to do next is we're going to remove the seat and take a look at the alarm module. The alarm module is what controls the power going to the motorcycle when you push the remote. The removal of this seat requires removing two Allen screws from the bottom below. I already removed them, so now I'm just showing you where they are located as I take out one of the screws and the other one on the left side has already been removed. Once the bolts are out, you need to lift the top of the seat and push it forward like that till the seat comes off. Here is the alarm module. To remove the module, you have to just pry it off because there's sticky tape that holds it in there. I already have cut the wires to this module because this module is no good. To test the actual module, what I did was take the red and the yellow wire where over here it's red and orange and you have to connect them together. And what I did was put a switch and I jumped it. So when I hit the switch, the power comes on to the motorcycle. So I know that this alarm module is no good. Now to get the power switch to light up, I also jumped the orange and the pink wire. The red wire is power with orange and the pink one is for the switch, to make the switch light up. And the colors are different on this side. It's red, yellow, and pink is actually blue. Those are the three wires that if you jump this, you will get the power to turn on. And what I did was put a simple switch so I know that this is no good. Now, what to remove this plug, you have to pull this pin sort of outwards and then this plug will remove. And now you can work, which is actually, this is usually connected like this. And now we can replace the alarm module. So here is the new alarm module. And the new alarm module is exactly the same and comes with brand new remotes. So you don't need the old remotes and the batteries are already inside the remotes. So to install it, it's very simple. Plug it in, put the new sticker tape on, stick it on, close it up. Let's see if it works. Oh, I guess it's working. Unlock, and now I hit the button, and voila, it works again. Hit the lock button, and it locks up. Now that I know what the problem is, I want to make sure that this doesn't happen again because my motorcycle basically sits in the garage, and may, I may not use it for two or three weeks, and I don't need this alarm module to be on and maybe blow out again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a switch where I can shut this power off to the module so the module doesn't overheat and blow out again. Or if the module stops working, I can flip the switch and go to manual mode and jump it and, and have power in my motorcycle so I can get to where I'm going. So I'm gonna show you how I install the switch and modify the connections. We're going to remove this box and try to put the switch in here. There are two screws that have to be removed. Then we just gently pull this box out of its compartment. And now 
we're going to mount the switch, the new switch in here in the plastic. We're gonna to have to cut this plastic and make a hole to put the switch in to disconnect the USB charging port. I also need to disconnect the switch. So you push on this little pin and then pull out. We're going to cut the hole. I marked where the hole should go. And now. I was able to mount the new switch inside the glove box or the charging box. Before I wire everything up, I just had to put the seat on temporarily to make sure that everything fits before we finalize this. So this is gonna fit in without a problem. The way I'm gonna wire this is with a, a three pin plug. And the three pin plug is going to be wired to the red, which we're going to cut on this side. I'm going to do it on the alarm side so it's easier to work with. I don't have to work inside the motorcycle. This is going to become two wires. Then we're going to take the orange lead because that's going to be a jumper. And I'm just going to clear the insulation a little bit. There you go. And now we're ready to connect the plug. I'm soldering the three pin male connector to the alarm module plug side. The entire plug is a six pin connector, but I only need to use two of the wires coming out of the plug, which will attach to the new three pin plug I am soldering. The orange wire does not need to be cut like the red power wire. I attach or wrap around the blue wire from the three pin plug to this orange wire and use electrical tape to protect it from any possible shorts. The other two wires were protected with shrink wrap tubing. The wires on the connections are not long enough between the switch and the alarm connection point. So I am extending the length of the wires to the plugs from the switch to the plug by about eight inches. To make this work, you need a three position switch. It should be a double pole, double throw switch Let's take a closer look at the simple wiring from the alarm module connector side. The key switch I'm installing has four terminals that I will use. Two of these terminals will be joined or connected together, which then will leave us with three wires coming out of the new key switch side and heading into the alarm module connector wires. The completed cable is finally done and now I'm ready to connect it. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some hot glue on this switch so the nut will not come out. And I also want to seal any cavities or any openings around that switch so no water will get in and it will protect it and make it more secure inside the glove box. I'm going to put this back inside. Let's start off with the switch. Two bolts back inside. There you go. And going to reconnect the two USB connectors back to where they were and put them back in line with the other wires. When you buy a new module, they give you a new mounting sticker system, double sided tape. So we put that on. This is a uh, state of the art technology here, folks. There you go. Put that back in the place where it was before. 
right there. Plug in the alarm. Okay. Then we take our modification switch and plug that into here. There you go. Take it the remote and there you go. Power's on. And we got power. The alarm module. The alarm module is working. Now we put in the key for the new switch, turn the key, and we got no power. And that's what I want. I want to shut the power completely off. Now if the module breaks down, alarm module, I can just go to manual mode. There you go. I'm on. I don't even need to hit the switch. The switch is on anyway. And but the alarm will still work. See? But it won't it won't lock the scooter. It's manual mode. Shut it off. Automatic mode. Now it's on. It's off. Well, I hope you found this program useful on how to bypass the alarm system or modify the alarm system on the Saunders Metacycle.